Critical thinking is an essential skill for nurses to develop. This video aims to define critical thinking. We will review how it connects to the nursing process, benefits of critical thinking, and levels of critical thinking. Then, in part two of this video, the components of critical thinking and ways to develop it will be suggested. There are many definitions of critical thinking in the literature. It is a complex process involving the purposeful use of logic, reasoning, and reflection, as well as cognitive skills and effective dispositions that will be explored later in this video. As Potter and Perry indicate, critical thinking is more than just problem solving. It is an attempt to continually improve how you apply knowledge when faced with problems in patient care. It is the active, organized, cognitive process used to carefully examine one's thinking and the thinking of others. Critical thinking draws upon skills used in other ways of thinking, but is viewed as a broader concept that is differentiated by its holistic, purposeful, reflective, and goal-directed nature. Critical thinking is central to quality nursing practice. Decision-making in nursing must not be hasty or ill-thought-out. Critical thinking is a standard for competent nursing practice. Nurses use critical thinking to anticipate client needs, incorporate knowledge from other disciplines, work in complex environments, and deal with change in stressful environments, all while making important clinical decisions and judgments about client care. Nurses use critical thinking in every step of the nursing process to analyze patient data within unique contexts, recognize patterns, form diagnoses, then plan, implement, and evaluate client care. It is important that nurses purposefully use and develop their critical thinking ability in order to deliver safe and effective client care. One model of critical thinking that is taught in many nursing schools separates it into three main levels, basic, complex, and commitment. As a novice student, you start at a basic level. As your critical thinking components develop, your level of critical thinking will move from basic to complex and commitment. Let's take a look at each level. At a basic level, you trust that experts have the right answer for every problem. Your thinking is more black and white as you think there is a right way and a wrong way to approach each situation. Thinking is based on sets of rules or principles that you follow. This level kind of reminds me of the elementary school child who is convinced that their teacher knows everything, even if their mother and Google disagree. As a nursing student, you will likely follow hospital procedures step by step without adjusting for unique client needs the first time you do a procedure like a dressing change. You will want to do everything by the book or exactly as your instructor tells you. As you gain knowledge and experience, your thinking will become more complex. With more nursing experience, you will start to think for yourself and analyze situations on your own. This separation from experts comes with the recognition that there may be more than one way to solve a problem, which is what differentiates it from a basic level of critical thinking. The book may tell you to position a client one way, but you are now able to analyze the situation, take into account client preferences, and be more creative in the way you approach the situation. You still follow routine procedures, but in complex situations, you consider other options and discuss them with others. At a commitment level, you do more than just consider alternate options. This level is all about action and accountability, which is what differentiates it from complex critical thinking. You are able to independently anticipate the need to make decisions. You are making your own decisions informed by your knowledge and experience and you stand by them. Since you are accountable and responsible for your decision, you pay more attention to evaluating the outcome to inform future practice. For example, when I decided to offer a Facebook group for interaction with students despite objections of more senior faculty, that demonstrated a commitment to my decision that I believe supports students and educational pedagogy. To evaluate this action, a survey, video interviews, and publication were produced. This evaluation was prompted by my commitment to this decision. Pause this video for a minute and try to label each nurse according to the level of critical thinking they are using. Welcome back. Here are the answers. 
Sarah is questioning current standards. According to our model, this nurse is a complex critical thinker since there is no indication that the nurse has taken any action or assumed responsibility for her decision. Jeff is trusting experts, which is characteristic of a basic level of critical thinking. Kyle is making and taking responsibility for his own choices, which makes him a commitment level critical thinker. Julie is following a step-by-step -step process without adjusting to client needs which is characteristic of a basic level of critical thinking. If you disagree with any of these, please review the levels of critical thinking again and post a comment so we can talk about it. It is good to start questioning what you are told. It means your critical thinking is becoming more complex. For more, you can subscribe, visit my website, and click on videos of interest on this slide. Click on part two of this video to find out more about the components of critical thinking and how to develop it. Thank you for watching.